Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to use your WeDiag tool, WeT300. It's an OBD2 scanner um, on your car. And what can you do with that diagnostic tool? The first step is we have to connect the scanner with your computer system, your um, OBD2 device on your car. This is easy. You can find this underneath. Um, your front seat area near the paddles as you can see get it in position and you will see the um, diagnostic tool will be ready to rumble let's go now we enter into the system as you can see now we can change the language if you're switching to the right and bottom side switch ok then go to Sprache or the other uh, uh, language you chosen before and we go to English again okay we choose okay and the setup is done we can go now in the setup we have here for example unit we can metric or English let's perform this in English for example press okay jobs done here we can control the beep sound a key test is any key damage um, or something? No, all is fine. Output two times F, two depressing. Then an LCD test. Oh yeah, full color is enabled. Here we can see the information about this device here with passcode. Then the shortcut. The shortcut is here, F1, F2, F3. Here you can see what kind of cars this scanner um, can handle as you can see so a lot of asian ca cars out there these are all the specific um, protocols in this device which is saved what well, there's a lot of shiner here european cars mercedes maybach aston martin bmw mini rolls royce fiat lancia jaguar maserati opel voxel porsche sprinter dacia audi bugatti lamborghini skoda vw chrysler gm etc then of course you can see brt and dp this are the reset functions you can choose here with that okay low mm, we can go back to main menu now we check the obd two function we enter into the system by using the obd2 function now we can go into the system with different protocols as you can see and you can see here no codes are found that's good for me um, but if is there is a, uh, um, a failure code it will show you here okay we can save this by pushing f1 or we can go with okay yeah then we can go with OK again into the system and we can system status. We can go to the read codes, stored codes, panning codes or permanent codes. These codes are um, in the machine, are saved in the machine and you can see and read what trouble code is um, is, is, is stored in the machine so you can fix the issue to fix the problem as well and after this you can go to erase the codes after erasing the codes the trouble should be away from you okay here we are then live data this is a good function to diagnostic okay let's go enter to the live data you can see or you can um, you can see what, what what your car makes right now. This is a live data setup. And this is cool because this is a good troubleshooting thing. If you have uh, some issues, you can um, control each system. system. We no, do not make the complete list, it's too big. The custom list is, is available, that's, that's, uh, that's good. If, uh, here you can see Number of DTCs, full system, calculated load, short term fuels. Let's make here for engine RPM. Okay, this I can show you the best and easiest way. Okay, and you can, of course, you can select all, for example, you can select um, a different um, live data as you can, as you, as, as you like. Um, and then you make a, um, 
show of this and then you can uh, make a good view data of it. Okay, we go to view data with F3 and you can see here the engine around per minute because my my car is, is, is running now, okay? We have 780 rounds per minute. I, I push a little bit, you can see nearly 2000. We can choose one graphics. So here you can see the graphics, okay? That's really cool because this helps you a lot in diagnostic. This helps you really much in diagnostic and it's easy to see what's happened there. That's really cool. You can see here how much rounds per minute. You can here see the, um, the diagram as well to make a good, clear look. So that's a, a live data. Freeze frame. I am right, read INES, O2 monitoring test, onboard monitoring test. We can component test, vehicle informations, model present, DTC lookup. This is for database. If you have a trouble code uh, in another car, for example, you can enter this DTC here and this will give you out of the library what is this trouble code will be. Then we have a system status and we are again, again by read codes. Okay, we, we, we are sure to get out of the system now. Now we can go to scan. This is the big big, bigger, big thing. Um, it's not the OBD primary, OBD2 function, but this is the additional part of this better scan tool here. That means it will go now into your um, machine, deeper into your machine and gives you more information. Azure, China, Europe, USA. This is here a Europe car. Then we have to enter what it is. Uh, it's the Audi here. Now we, we have to put a little bit of data into it, of course. Automatic selection, for example. Here, this is the vehicle identification number. That's okay for me. Uh, finish keyboard or back. We go F1 to finish. Yes, we save it and continue. Okay. Fin information decoding. Because of the fin, this um, library entrance can say the system what is that for a car it is Un United States of America Canada or a Europe car it's a Europe car let's go into it then an Avant a saloon or an um, four wheel drive car and we have now the next step is now our engine okay look for your engine if you found your engine this is the uh, engine number. This is um, your how much liter turbo fuel stratosphere injection or here diesel. Here the power. Okay, let's go into it. Okay. Yes, here. So, okay. This information are um, must have for this because of this. It will now handle this information and now we can go deep scan. So we make auto scan, the, the, it, it will take a long time. So we control unit. It will now give us information, engine control model, transmission control model. These are the, um, the models, the computer models, each computer model inside your car, you can now navigate to. That's really cool because this helps you a lot in, in troubleshooting, okay? That's really cool. So here you can see it's a lot of, of system specific information which this um, device here can give you. That's really cool. I like so, uh, so kind of scanners because they're uh, bigger than the small ones. It gives you a lot of information more. So let's go to engine control, you model number one, for example, to have a look what's going on there. Because every model itself in your car has the DTCs and these DTCs are not shown in a standard scanner, okay? This is only for the bigger scanner, like this scanner here. So ECU information, you can see the information of this model, which we are entering into. Here you can see some information about it. 
Um, then we can read codes. If there is a code in this model, it will show you. You can erase that code and you can see live data of a lot of things inside this model. Yeah? Status of basic settings, operation instruction, test steps, still blah, 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 blah. So many. That's cool for troubleshooting, for professional troubleshooting, of course. So let's go back here. That's cool. Yes, back, 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 back. Then we can see here BRT. This is if you replace the battery inside your car, you have to say to your car, hey, car, here's a new battery installed. This program is for that. Or rather the same. If you, if you uh, replace your oil and your oil filter, you can say with that device, here is no new oil filter uh, top up. EPB, electronic park brake, the same. If you have to replace your brake, um, you have to handle this because you have an electronic park brake system on the rear and this will, will drive this in service selection. And this for this, you will need such a scanner here. This is a really cool feature. The DPF, that means you can, in a diesel, you can uh, use for a diesel uh, cleanup. Uh, this will uh, this will make the DPF regeneration. And uh, yeah, that's this. That's a lot of things you can perform with that scanner here. It's really cool. And you can see nothing happened. This was the all functions which which this device comes coming with and no troubleshooting is, 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 is right more. This is a really cool machine. Then we have here the hard keys, F1 for OBD2 diagnostic, F2 for all reset and F3 for EPB. Cool. And now if you finish the work, we can remove the device from the car. The only thing we have to do now is remove the device from the car and we are ready again on the road again with that fixed and nice design car again. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me positive feedback and I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon soon.